Angelic Empowerment International Network is proudly sponsored in part by No Surrender Ottawa, a group of individuals who have realized that there is a gap in the animal shelter and welfare services that urgently needs filling. No Surrender with a focus on keeping people and pets together through good times and bad times and aims to fill that gap. Please help support our animals. For more information, go to facebook.com forward slash no surrender Ottawa or triple w no surrender dot ca offer a donation foster adopt all the links are provided for you in the description box no surrender keeping people and their pets together hello my name is Lorraine Katz from intuitive tarot and I'm welcoming you to this Lunar Month's uh, podcast. Um, I am doing the full sugar moon today. Um, it is called the sugar moon because it is the time of year when the maple trees start to have their sap run, which from that we get the sugar, maple sugar. Um, it's also sometimes called the crow moon because that's when the crows start to come back to some of the northern communities. Um, some other names for it is, are uh, the sap moon or uh, the worm moon. And the worm moon uh, tends to be relating to it being spring and it heralds the return of um, the robins hunting the worms that are now coming up out of the soil that is no longer frozen. So that's the, the reason we call it the sugar moon. Um, this moon, this lunar month runs from April, sorry, March 7th through to April 5th. Let me just put my tea down. So as normal, I pulled uh, one card from one deck from my Zen Buddhist influence, uh, influence um, Osho Zen tarot deck. And the card I pulled for the overarching theme or energy of this lunar month is integration. Um, in the traditional deck, this would be uh, temperance. So this card is really quite a positive card. It talks about um, finding balance um, and blending disparate things or opposites in your life, complementary things, and making it work. Um, it also talks about a need for compassion and it talks about a need for moderation. So that's the overarching theme for this month. The first week of this month, uh, Lunar Month, we, we pulled cards from my... Uh, Celtic Druid Animal Oracle deck. And the card I pulled for this one is, uh, is the crane. And this is for the first week of this lunar month. And that would be running from the 7th to the 14th of March. And crane is a really um, gorgeous, gorgeous card. It talks about um, being patient, being more introspective. Um, it talks about perseverance the need for perseverance um the crane will will stand in water and and be very still for hours while it's hunting for a fish or a frog so this is talking a lot about during the first week of this lunar month the need for patience and perseverance for whatever goal it is you want to um achieve during this uh this particular uh moon phase this card also talks a little bit um to me about rebirth which is incredibly apt because it is spring in a time of rebirth um it also talks about longevity um cranes are associated in many cultures including the druid uh culture with longevity and also with um reincarnation with the idea that you are reborn um, and you can, uh, the crane is often the animal associated as the psychopomp that leads you uh, through to the other realm. The second card I pulled um, is horse. 
So during this lunar month, um, horse shows up and horse is all about taking a journey, whether that is a physical journey or a metaphysical or, you know, psychic journey, whether you're doing some uh, meditation, some guided meditation, but it's all about journeying. It's about uh, gaining energy, uh, having a sense of movement. Um, horse is also associated with wealth, uh, with richness uh luck and also horse has a link to the earth excuse me could you two knock it off um <clears throat> my terrible twins are uh fighting over the heated spot on the on the um couch i have a, a heating pad and all the cats like it and so if one has it and the other one wants it um we get little spats happening um so uh, the image here is of the white horse in, in the hill. So it's linked to land. It's linked to um, feeling uh, a connection to the land. It's also linked to fertility. So the second week of this lunar month is about feeling connected to the land, perhaps uh, feeling energized and feeling like things are moving and progressing. The third week, though, starts to get interesting. The third, the third week, uh, which would be uh, starting the 22nd to the 29th, we have the water dragon showing up, but we, we have it showing up reversed. And the water dragon, I'll show that to you upright. The water dragon is about, um, because it's water, it's all about heightened emotions and intense feelings. And uh feeling super sensitive so when this uh card shows up i always counsel that you should avoid making any decisions um based on emotion uh avoid doing anything um impulsively and if you're doing any emotional work or healing work or uh shadow work that do it slowly do it in small little increments don't try to rush it um, and then we wrap up this lunar month with, uh, the Ram showing up and the Ram, <laughs> the Ram is a really good card. The Ram talks about the reward for all that patience and that perseverance and, um, being careful with your emotional sensitivities, um, because it talks about breakthrough. It too relates to feeling connected to the land. Um, and feeling stable, um, able to climb um, to uh, the heights. Um, and it also talks very much to me about, um, on some level, um, doing a little bit of healing as well. Whatever this breakthrough is, it is going to make you feel uh, very positive and like the... Uh, like you've earned it, like you've put in the work. Uh, the other thing I want to say about this card is that it also sometimes talks about uh, the need for sacrifice um, that you might have um, had to give up something in order to stay focused um, and, and gain what you wanted. Um, and at this point, you can, because you've had a breakthrough, you can now perhaps return to the thing that you've uh, given up and um, feel like you can have that reward now. So I will very quickly recap. Um, the lunar month uh, runs from April, from March 7th through to April 5th. And April will be the pink, the pink moon. Um, so it's called pink moon for the flowers that start to grow then the pinks. Um, so this is all about a new start and new beginning. It's spring, and this month is all about um, finding balance in your life, um, being patient, being compassionate, um, and balancing the needs of others and the needs uh, for yourself. The first week, which is the 7th to the 14th of March, we have uh, being very focused, very intent, um, being patient and persevering and feeling like you are in a place of uh, feeling um, 
rejuvenated, reborn. The second week um, from the 14th to the 22nd of March, we have movement happening. We have uh, a sense of feeling more connected to nature and the land around you, um, a sense of fertility and uh, luck coming with this card. The third week um, of this lunar month, the 22nd to the 29th, we have a lot of emotional turmoil uh, showing up. Um, maybe some heightened sensitivity um, in terms of your um, being an empath or medium, you will feel more open to things. So it's, um, it's a time to be careful about your choices and your words. And the final week, um, you find uh, yourself having a breakthrough. The ram is leaving you feeling like you are getting your just rewards. Um, that all that focus and care and progress that you've made will now allow you to reap some benefits and take a well-earned uh, break. So that's what I have for you. I hope this reading is helpful to you, uh, making plans and figuring out how to pace yourself in the coming weeks as uh, spring arrives. Um, that's it for, for now. Uh, blessed be, and we'll see you again uh, next month for the pink moon. Bye.